incredible night on Friday night. The Brawley Wildcats and the Central Spartans playing for the IVL title in the 79th annual Bell Game. And look at that atmosphere. There's the Wildcat crowd, the Spartan crowd ready to go. First quarter after a, the interception by Makai Washington that leads to this. Tanner Carranza trucking his way into the end zone for the game's first score. Brawley goes up. 7-0 after the extra point. Central would answer quickly, though, on just their second play in the next possession. Charlie Sullivan, the best rusher in the Imperial Valley, gone for the 60-yard score. We would go to halftime, tied at 7 in a defensive battle, but in a dramatic turn late in the game, Brawley would lead 16-7 with five minutes left, but Central would explode for a big touchdown to Arturo Estrada, and then here's this. Damian Rodriguez going to throw it up again, and then once again, it's Sullivan. In the back of the end zone for the touchdown, Central would take the lead with the extra point, 20-16 to 16 with under two minutes to go. Last chance for Brawley on fourth down. Ethan Gutierrez trying to find something, but he is swarmed, and it's Jacob De La Rosa, the player of the game on defense, finishing it in his senior year. Central survives a thriller and takes the bell back, 20-16. to 16. But take a look at this. Moments after the final snap, Wildcats putting the brawl in Brawley, if you will. Both sides needing to be separated a tough scene boiling over from last year's finish. It would take several minutes to clear out the melee. But in the end, it was the Spartans taking home the bell and the Imperial Valley League title. Here's head coach David Pena and star of the game, Charlie Sullivan, after the win. Well, obviously it's a highly emotional game, and you know the, there's emotions that run high in this game. And again, you know sometimes we let get to, we let get the best of us. But again, um, you know the kids did a great job. You know for 48 minutes. Hey, you know big time players make big time plays, and we have a great wide receiver core. We have a great running back in our own line. And, I mean they did a tremendous job, and David did a great job of putting the ball up to our playmakers. And again, you know we have some kids that can do some things for us. It was kind of th throw the ball up, someone makes a play, but it's kind of throw the ball and he trusts us enough where we're going to come down with it. Well don't blink now but in just two weeks we could see these two teams go at it once again as Central has picked up the second seed in Division 2 in the CIF. Brawley with the seven so let's take a look at these. In Division 2 Brawley got awarded the seventh seed and will host the tenth seeded Sun Devils of Mount Carmel this Friday night at Warren Field. And take a look, the winner will advance to take on the two seed, the Central Spartans at Cal Jones Field next Friday, November 11th. With the Bell game victory, the Spartans captured a first round bye. And can you imagine the atmosphere should Brawley win at home this Friday when you go to Cal Jones Field next Friday? That would be something. That would be really something. Now let's go to Division Three, the Imperial Tigers. They would nab the five seed with their seven and three finish, and they will host the 12th seeded Patriots of Patrick Henry. That is this Friday at Shimamoto Simpson Stadium. So the Tigers looking to win a playoff game. They made the playoffs last year, but lost in the first round as an as an eight and as a nine seed. So getting the five seed, they get a home game. We'll see if they can advance in Division Four. We have a couple of teams. We got the Calexico Bulldogs. They are the six seed. But in a weird turn of events to describe it in the CIF, uh, no matter what, a division team that wins has to uh, have a home game. So despite Calexico's sixth seed, they are going on the road against 11-seeded uh, Spartans of Chula Vista. The Spartans won their division, so that's why the road game for the Bulldogs. Palo Verde, the champions of the Desert League, get the seventh seed and will host the Matadors of Mount Miguel on Friday night. Now here's Division 5 that you're looking at right now. Southwest keeps their season alive. Despite only one win, that being over Kofa, the Eagles make the postseason as a 9 seed and travel to Castle Park to face the 8 seeded Trojans. Also in Division 5, Vincent Memorial. They were awarded the 6 seed and will host 11 seeded Mountain Empire this Friday night.